We started off our trip by flying from Atlanta to London overnight with the purpose of going to a concert out in the country and spending the day in London afterwards. Once we landed in London, we rented a car and began our drive north, stopping in Epping for some English breakfast. After filling up, we finished off the two and a half hour drive to Norwich, where we saw Becky Hill, stayed the night, and then made our way back to London in the morning. And that brings us here, where we are going to show you how we spent the next 24 hours in London. Since we stayed in Kensington, the first logical stop is Kensington Gardens. Here, you can visit Kensington Palace and the Princess Diana Memorial Garden. Kensington Palace is the home of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and features a museum that you can visit inside. If you're like us and don't want to pay to go in the palace, the Princess Diana Memorial Garden is still worth the visit. We took a stroll to the nearby Albert Memorial, which was Queen Victoria's memorial to her husband, and it was a sight to see. Opened in 1872, the memorial took 10 years to build and cost £120,000, which today is equal to £10 million. Kensington Gardens is directly connected to Hyde Park, which everyone knows is a must-visit spot in London. stopped off in the Westminster neighborhood to grab some coffee at a spot called Notes. After doing our research, we then decided that one place we had to stop was a bakery called Gales. They have a few locations around London, but everything inside looked amazing. Of course, no trip to London is complete without stopping to see the Queen at Buckingham Palace. What is this, coffee cake? I think it is like vegan, yeah, I think it's coffee cake. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Look at the lips. <laughs> this is the honey tart. It's like cinnamon. Very mm -hmm. soft. We then continued our trek on foot to one of the city's most popular shopping areas. We aren't shoppers by any means, but one place that caught our eye that isn't at home was the H&M Home Store. Soho District is one of the city's most trendy spots with the best shopping and best restaurants. It's a must visit by all visitors.
hungry for a snack, we stopped for a Portuguese treat called Pastel de Nata at Café de Nata. We made our way over to another must-visit spot in London, the British Museum. Founded in 1753, the British Museum hosts collections of human history, art, and culture. It's home to over 8 million works and is among the largest and most comprehensive in existence. And it's free to visit. After spending a couple hours in the museum, we hopped on the underground to our next spot. Camden Town is home to the Camden Lock, also known as the Twin Locks, located on the Regent's Canal. It's also home to the Camden Market, which includes over a thousand shops and stalls, welcoming over 250,000 people a week. I also had a pigeon poop on me here, so keep an eye out. For lunch, we took a 10 minute walk up to Kentish Town to eat a Tonkatsu Ramen. After eating, we took the underground back to our hotel to recharge before heading out to one of the most popular spots in London, Borough Market. What makes Burrow different than Camden is that Burrow is more open air and focused on food, arguably more expensive as well. Of course, you can't visit London without the traditional fish and chips. One of the best parts about London is that no matter where you wander, you're bound to find something interesting and cool. As the 
sun set on our evening in London, we figured the best thing to do is to walk along the river. Per usual, we end our night with a treat of Crosstown Donuts with coffee from Cafe Nero. After packing a full 24 hours into London, we headed back to our hotel to fly home in the morning. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more. Also, feel free to drop us any questions in the comments and we'll see you next time.